All right, in this video, we're going to talk about writing rules for rectangular numbers. And rectangular numbers are uh, quadratic patterns that have integer values for their side lengths. And we can see that this is a quadratic pattern because well, if we look at the difference, it goes plus 6, plus 8, plus 10, and plus 12. And the second difference here is constant plus 2. So that's what tells us that it must be quadratic, right? Yeah, so that tells us it's quadratic. So if it's quadratic, now we need to look for the patterns in the lengths and widths of our rectangles. Now, if I look for the factors of 0, that's going to be 0 and, well, I don't really know. It could be anything. 6 would be 1 and 6, 2, 3, 14. 1 and 14, 2 and 7, done with the integer values, 24, 1, 24, 2, 12, 3, 8, 4, and 6. And for 36, 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9. So in here, we hope to find a pattern. So if we start looking at the uh, factors, we may look, I'll start right here because this has fewer choices. Uh, maybe it goes from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. That looks, that looks promising. And, oh, and the ones that correspond with that would be 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's the one that I like. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, and of course going backwards, that's 0. And so that's one pattern, 0, 1, 2, Three, four, and the other pattern would be six, seven, eight, nine, and of course in there it'd be zero times five, so it's five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now the only issue is writing a rule for these linear patterns. Zero, one, two, three, four has a constant difference of one, so that would be one in but one in but it's off if that's my first term I'm off by one you can think about it that way or you could think about it as there's a zero term hiding in there and that zero term would be negative one maybe over there right and so that's one in minus one for the other term the other value the other sequence excuse me it'd be five six seven eight nine and that's a constant difference of one starting at 5, but the 0 term would be 4, so that's a 1 in plus 4. So this rectangular sequence could be written as f of n is equal to uh, n minus 1 times n plus 4. And we should test it out. If I plug a 1 in here, I want to get a 0. So 1 minus 1 is 0 times 5. There it is, 0. 2 in should get a 6. 2 minus 1 is 1 times 2 plus 4 is 6. So, and you can see it looks like we did a good job. All right. So let's try a different one. Once again, I'll tell you that it is indeed a rectangular number. It's quadratic. It goes up 14 and then 20 and then 26. The constant difference, uh, the second difference is 6. So let's start looking at the factors. So the factors of negative 4 would be uh, negative 1 and positive 4, or it could be the other way of positive 1 and negative 4. 2 and negative 2, one way or the other, right? 10 would be 1 and 10, 2 and 5. And that's it. 30 is 1. 30, 2, 15, 3, 10, 5, 6. And 56, we want to do the 1, 56, 2, and 28, 4, and 14, and 7, and 8. So since we only have uh, two sets for factors of 10, let's start there. So if I start with 2, I can go 2, 3, 4, that looks nice, 
and then I can pick out that 1. If I go with the ones that correspond with it, that would be negative 4 to 5 to 10. Well, there's, there's a difference there, right? That, that's going up 5 here, and it's going up 4 there. That's, so that, there's a problem. So that one I don't want. Let's try a different pattern. Maybe So let's look at huh, 2 and maybe uh, 5. Then, so if we go up from 2 to 5, and up 3 from there, oh, it's this 8 here. And then backwards from 2 would be negative 1. It's a little more tricky to find. So what corresponds to that would be like 4, 5, 6, ah, 7. Nice. 4, 5, 6, 7 is one pattern. Another pattern is negative 1. Five and eight. The red pattern, that's not a problem, right? That's a constant difference of one, common common difference. One. So that's one in. And then the you would have to add three to get a four, five, six, seven. Because the zero term is going to be three. Uh, the blue term, now that's a little bit trickier because it's going up by how much? It's going up 3 each time. So that, of course, would give me 3 in. And the, the one that's hiding back there would be 3 back from negative 1 be a negative 4. So that's 3 in minus 4 on that one. And I can check it, right? So if I put a 1 in there, I want a negative 1. Uh, so if I put a 1, that's 3 minus 4. If I put a 2, I want it to be 2. So so you can tell them at school. There you go. And <laughs> there is my pattern of 1 in plus 3 times 3 in minus 4. And there you go. Hope that helps. Uh, one last thing that you might need to remember, if, like the triangular numbers, you have a problem, you might need to double the pattern, then find the factors, and don't forget to undouble it to get the answer. Okay, good luck.